I have nothing. I I don't have a job, don't have no money, support myself on nothing, and look what I got to deal with now. Today, residents of an apartment near 14th and Old Cheney began to look through their belongings to see what was left after a fire destroyed their home last night. Fire investigators determined a single cigarette from a negligent smoker started the blaze, and strong winds fueled the flames. That really makes me mad, because I lost my house to one cigarette. The 11 residents hope to clean things up and rebuild as soon as possible. For Star City News, this is Aaron Bull. Thanks, Whitney. Robert DeBusk and his family are picking up the pieces today after a tornado near Eagle, Nebraska destroyed their garage. I saw our, our kids' uh, uh, swing set go flying, and it's really heavy duty, and the dog cage went flying, and so I told her, so let's get downstairs. What took months to build took only a few minutes to destroy. I opened up the back door, and the garage was gone. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Walls and siding were no match for the strong winds, yet despite the destruction, DeBusk is counting his blessings. But I'm thankful that, you know, our house is still intact and, and just lost the garage and, and the shed. But, you know, it could have been a lot, lot worse. Now DeBusk and his family are sifting through the debris to see what they can keep and what they need to throw away. We've got a, a, a dumpster out here. We've got a cleanup crew coming out to help get that cleaned up, which is amazing, you know, and our insurance company helps setting that up. And With all the help DeBusk has received, he hopes to rebuild his garage soon. I, I've just been really impressed and, and pleased with, you know, everybody that's come out to help and everything. And you know. DeBusk told me things haven't completely set in just yet, but for now he's just happy his family is safe and sound. For Star City News, this is Aaron Bull reporting from the newsroom. Back to you, Whitney. A UNL fraternity could be suspended as early as this summer after being cited for hazing, sexual assault, and giving alcohol to minors. Star City's Aaron Bull has the story live from the newsroom. Thanks, Mandy. On Monday, UNL police did an investigation of eight Sigma Chi members after a pledge came forward about hazing, underage drinking, and sexual assault during initiation. So in addition to the legal process that the students face, they also face judicial student consequences through the university for both the house and the individuals involved. These are the eight Sigma Chi members cited for hiring a stripper and using sex toys to violate pledges. Not pictured are James Glover, Jonathan Nudson, Keegan Anderson, and Samuel Bates. Ryan Follinger, a member of Delta Tell Delta fraternity, had this to say about the incident. Kind of disappointing that the Greek system, that Greeks would lower themselves to do that. Both Bartling and Follinger don't see this incident affecting the university's image. We're hopeful that people will take uh, a broad look at this and look at the university's history and the reputation. We haven't had a hazing incident happen or be reported on this campus since 2002. But they can't let one house uh, or one incident ruin it for everybody. Today I tried to get a response from Sigma Chi's attorney about the incident, but he did not return my phone calls. For Star City News, this is Aaron Bull reporting from the newsroom. Back to you, Mandy. Good morning, Lincoln. A few showers and thunderstorms developed this morning in extreme northeast Nebraska around Dixon County, and now it's in about Sioux City, Iowa. Those were severe for about a half an hour. They've just fallen below severe limits, and now just uh, some brief heavy downpours with these thunderstorms. And a few of those might be developing again up to the north, but most of them should stay below severe limits. Here in eastern Nebraska, just basically these high clouds moving in, that will be keeping our temperatures from reaching their full potential by this afternoon. But nonetheless, it will be a mild day anyway. 55 here in Omaha and 54 in Lincoln, 54 in Beatrice also. So I'm expecting things to turn out today. This morning we're looking at 50s, a few clouds from the southwest moving into our area. This afternoon, 75 degrees, beautiful day out there. Definitely take advantage of it. A few showers and thunderstorms after 3 p.m., particularly to the north in this evening, 70s. A few of those thunderstorms staying mostly to the north. And just a beautiful evening. So if you do have plans for the single day mile, do get out there and enjoy it because it will be a beautiful evening. Welcome back from the break. Here's our current look from our sky cam. We have a mix of sun and clouds out there, but we did have a few sprinkles earlier this morning. Most of those have now come to an end. Most of the rain is up around Sioux City, Iowa, and we did have a few sprinkles in our area earlier. We're going to take a closer look at that as we dive down into the Nebraska City area. And um, you can see a few of the showers were in extreme eastern Lincoln. Most of those have now come to an end, and with that, the clouds should start to be clearing up. So we're going to have a beautiful day today. Yesterday we did have some severe weather. Most of it stayed in Iowa and 
some of it was close to Nebraska, Iowa borderline, and most of it was just hail out there. But thankfully, here in the capital city, we didn't have any severe weather to speak of at all. And right now, we're sitting at about 63 degrees, east wind, 6 miles an hour. Dew point is 48 degrees, which is comfortable, so it's not humid out there at all. And current temperatures across the area, everyone's starting out in the upper 50s, the lower 60s, 58 in Omaha, 63 in Beatrice, and 61 currently in Fremont. And this is how I'm expecting the highs to turn out today. We're looking at 70s for most of East Nebraska, 80s in extreme Southeast Nebraska, areas like Beatrice, Lincoln, Nebraska City. Wouldn't be surprised if you guys had 80 today, but for the most part, we're looking at upper uh, 70s for East Nebraska. And satellite radar map of the nation, there's really not a lot going on here, no significant weather at all, just some showers and thunderstorms on the East Coast some rain here in the mid sections of the nation. We're going to take a closer look at that. And most of the rain developed and stayed to the north and to the south and in between. We just had a few sprinkles on your windshield as you head off to work. And that's about it today. And most of that should be clearing up quickly. But uh, we are about four and a half inches below average for this time of the year, as you can see up in the corner right there. And hopefully we get some rain soon because it is planting season. And the farmers do need that rain. And we might have a few showers and thunderstorms that do develop for tomorrow or tonight. Most of those should stay east of the Missouri River into Iowa. And we might have a few more showers and thunderstorms develop early tomorrow morning. And uh, those should uh, just be light, though. Nothing really more than a tenth of an inch with these showers out there. But hopefully we'll get some more rain later on this weekend. Uh, this morning, though, 50s, mostly cloudy, scattered showers out there. And for this afternoon, beautiful, 80 degrees, mostly sunny. Get out there, take advantage of it if you can. For the extended forecast, the front moves through on Friday, drops temperatures down to the 70s, a few showers maybe with that. And for Saturday, it should be dry, 68 degrees. It is a UNL graduation, so if you do have plans for that, it looks good. But for Mother's Day, chance of some showers and maybe a few thunderstorms that evening. So uh, you might want to plan B if you do have any plans outside. Monday through Wednesday, though, beautiful weather, 70s and upper 70s.